the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 149, Psalms 73-78 Realization when entering the temple Remembering the great and wonderful things God did in history holds unto us firmly so that our trust in God may not be shaken under any circumstances. First point. Asap sang for even the wicked to be able to realize their sins when entering the holy place. Psalm 73 is Asap's wisdom poem. Here, Asap confirmed that the wise would be acknowledged by God and the wicked would perish. He moreover advised that the true life of wisdom is believing in God. The psalmist confessed that he could not stand that the wicked were prospering. He also added that it was such a shame that there are people envious of the wicked prospering. But as for me, my feet had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold, for I envied the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. But the psalmist was able to experience God's blessing when he went to the holy place in the temple. As he walked into the temple, he was able to see the end of the wicked, and thus confess that he had complete faith in God. I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you. If one discovers the heart of God, they will understand that the wicked will not last, as the Levites valued their life of serving God more than having their own lands. The psalmist also confessed that he was satisfied and overjoyed in God alone. Second point. Asaph proclaimed that God is the decider of boundaries and territories. It is assumed that Psalm 74 was written by Asaph during the time Jerusalem fell in the hands of the Babylonian Empire. The psalmist asks God how he could abandon them and calls out to him. The psalmist moreover asks God to remember the covenant he made with the people of Israel. The psalmist asks why God abandoned them and told God of the state of Jerusalem. He cried that the temple was burned down and all that was left were ashes from the flames. The psalmist prayed to God to remember them and their mission. There is nothing worse than the feeling of being helpless. But we must remember that those are the times we can pray. When prayer is lost, that is when all things become lost. Third point, as have claimed that God our judge rages us at times and also hungers us. Psalm 75 is predicted to have been written during the time the king of Assyria came to attack Jerusalem. Asap compares the righteous and the foolish. The righteous turns to God during the time of despair, whereas the foolish claimed that there is no God. The righteous, therefore, are blessed, whereas the foolish perish. This psalm can be a summary of what happens to the foolish as a result of their wicked behavior. The psalmist writes that God has a decided plan for them and that he will judge at his time. God will make the wicked fall and they will experience God's punishment no matter what. God will eventually perish all the wicked. The psalmist therefore claims that he can only praise God. The righteous God judges people. 
God governs the entire universe and judges at His appointed time. Whereas God's creations must wait for God's time. Fourth point, Asaph praised God and said that he would remember God's right hand. Asaph in Psalm 77 confesses that God's salvation does not change, but humans think that it changes because they lack faith. The psalmist therefore praises God and his great power, as well as confessing his own limitations and weaknesses. The reference to God's right hand in the Bible carries a unique meaning. It means that God intervenes with his salvation. Your right hand, Lord, was majestic in power. Your right hand, Lord, shattered the enemy. Alternatively, if God does not stretch out his right hand, then real despair begins. The psalmist prays to God about this all throughout the night. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. Amidst his suffering, the psalmist worries that God has left him, and that he fears that God will no longer grant him mercy or forgiveness. The psalmist prays to God not to leave him and tells God that he will not forget God's blessings to him thus far. Fifth point, Asaph remembered Exodus and the history of the desert life through praise. Asaph's wisdom poems include Psalm 78 along with Psalms 105, 106, and 135. Psalm 78 is a history poem by Asa. The psalmist repents of the time because people disobeyed him in the desert following Exodus. Indeed, the people complained about no water, no meat, and also that it was impossible to conquer Canaan. The sins of the people that the psalmist refers to are firstly that they forgot what the Lord had done for them. The second is that the people questioned God. The third is that the people served God only on the surface. The fourth is that they worshipped idols. The psalmist praises God who still forgave and was with his ancestors despite all their sins. He did miracles in the sight of their ancestors, in the land of Egypt, in the region of John. He split the locusts in the wilderness and gave them water as abundant as the seas. But he chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. He built his sanctuary like the height, like the earth that he established forever. He chose David his servant and took him from the sheep pens. The point of this psalm is crystal clear. It is that the descendants must have faith in only God. The descendants must be different to their ancestors who did not obey God. The psalmist sings of God who chose David among the tribe of Judah to rule over the kingdom by focusing on God. This Tong Dok app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Dok app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.